Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a, a very small Sephora unboxing. Because I just went to Sephora because I needed moisturizer for my face. And I'm going to do, I'm going to also show you guys what I bought at CVS today. And that's basically it for now. I just wanted to come on and say um, thank you for all the support that I've gotten so far. And uh, that's it. I'm eating. I'm about to eat breakfast. I eat breakfast kind of late. So I'm having eggs and potatoes. See? I have eggs and potatoes. And I'm a tea drinker. And I'm drinking tea. Here's my mom's cup, by the way. She says, blessed mom. Maybe you can see it this way. I don't know. It's upside down. Whatever. It's in a pretty cup. It's not my cup. It's my mom's cup. So I'm, I'm drinking tea, I'm drinking green tea. I'm a green tea lover. And I'm drinking this brand. What's it? This brand. And I'm drinking, what is it called? What is it called? Gunpowder green. <laughs> so I could actually, this, this particular tea is strong where I can seep it twice. Why it's not coming out clear? Oh, there we go. I can see this twice. I'm a tea lover. I like coffee, but coffee doesn't sit well with me. I love the smell of coffee. I wish I could drink coffee every day like people. Oh, I got to get my cup of coffee. I got to have my cup of tea. And I drink tea all throughout the day, winter, spring, summer, fall. It could be 20 billion degrees outside. I'm still drink tea. But I also love coffee. But like I said, coffee doesn't sit well with me. I'm not sure why. And I can't drink coffee if I'm tired. It makes me jumpy. So I'm going to eat my breakfast. Have a little talk with you guys. Because I, I wish I had ketchup. I don't know. I'm at my sister's house because I'm painting for her. I'm painting her place. Because I've done this like over 10 years ago that I painted her apartment and and I'm doing it again because it's way overdue as you can see the ladder in the background right there it's a plastic right here because I have to sand my food is kind of cold because I have was waiting to set up this video so my eggs and potatoes kind of cold um Oh, I said I'm going to talk about what I bought at Sephora. I only bought three things at Sephora. So, I don't know what kind of unboxing this is. But, um, oh yeah, I'm always eating on the videos. That's hilarious. I'm always eating. I want to do this outside, but it's kind of chilly today, this morning. It's in the lower 50s, like 53 or something like that. That's chilly. A little, little known fact about me, I don't like winter at all. I do not like winter. If I had the means to go someplace warm every time it gets cold and come back in the summertime, that's what I would do. I do not like winter. I mean, right now it's not cold, but it's, I call it crisp outside. That's what I like to call it, crisp. So, um... Like I said, I'm gonna show you guys. Well, I bought gloves that I'm wearing. It's from Mimique Beauty. See this right here? Look at this lip gloss. It's such a beautiful lip gloss. It's it's really nice. This one is called Mercy. I'm not wearing Mercy today. I'm wearing actually. This is the packaging. Yeah, this is the packaging. M-I-M-I-K. Mimik. Yeah. I'm wearing Favor today. Actually, Favor is not my favorite one. Only because I have to wear a lip liner. Like, the color to me doesn't go well with my skin tone. So, I have to wear a lip liner to kind of blend it in. To make it work with my skin tone. And 
I'm one of those lazy people that use the lip line is a lot of work, but I'm willing to do it because again, the product is good. And this one is called Favor. See? Yeah, Favor. And this one is called Mercy. If you can see it. There you go, Mercy. I really like Mercy. I like Mercy. Again, I think it goes so well with my skin tone. But I did buy a, um, a lip liner today from um, CVS to see. They didn't have the... I wanted like a brown to go with that, but I had a coupon and I had to buy, I think it's CoverGirl. Like I was saying, I bought CoverGirl only because I had a coupon. So, I mean, I have no favorite lip liner company that I normally buy because again, I don't really use lip liner. I just put on lip gloss or lipstick, put it on and call it a day. Um, my food is getting cold. Ew. Anyway, so this is the CoverGirl lip line I purchased. And this one is called, um, what color is this? Plum Part Partner, something like that. See, the name is right here. So it's a plum, plum. It's just hard to get this camera to focus. Not a cam, my phone. There you go. This is what I'm using. I'm going to use this with, uh, which one did I say? I think it's Favor. I'll figure it out. So hopefully it works. But I really wanted a, a brown. I just bought what was on sale. And this is the tea that I'm drinking. Here's the brand. It's organic. So this is good. It's a good, it's a good brand tea. If you're into teas. And if you're not, haven't tried it, try it. It's really good. Um, so that's what I'm doing. So, um, oh, let me show you how the lip gloss look. And you know what? What's important? You know, when it comes to lip gloss, an applicator is important. This applicator is not bad at all. It's a good applicator. It really is. And I know the the woman that created this brand. Very nice lady. She's a makeup artist. So when she told me, when I realized she's creating this product, um, I already knew it would be a good product, but I wanted to get the product before I talk about a product. I don't want to talk about a product and I never use a product. To me, that's not honest. So I wanted to get the product I got the product last week and I've been using it since. So, so far, like I said, it's very moisturizing. It's good. And I'm not saying that because I know this woman. This is a good product. It really, really is. And I cannot wait to get the other, well, the other colors that I feel that's going to suit my skin tone. Because she came up with five, um, five different colors, five different brown tone color to go with the array of skin tone it's not just for my skin tone if you're a lighter darker she has a five of them that will go you'll find one that's gonna suit your um complexion and she's also coming out soon with um excuse me for sipping slurping slurping sounds bad on camera i know sorry and i know my son said i said um a lot on the videos, I need to stop doing that, so I have to remind myself not to say um. Yeah, like I said, she's coming out soon with a clear lip gloss. So for those of you that's not into color, uh, she's coming out with clear. And hopefully, she'll probably come up with more colors. I mean, who knows? You know, but you gotta, it's, it's a woman of color. Go support her brand. Because like I said, it's good. And the packaging, it's sleek, beautiful, Lucite. I love Lucite. I am a fan of Lucite. So that's that about the Mimique um, brand. So look it up. I'm going to link 
her website. I'm going to link it. Anything I talk about on this channel, I 95 or 99% of the time I link the products. Because again, I'm not, and I only link products that I use and know what I'm saying. I'm not going to link something because for clout. I don't care about clout. And I'm not getting paid for none of this stuff. So um, I'm just, I like, I like something and I don't mind sharing what works for me. So let's talk about what I purchased from CVS. I actually went to CVS to get the lip liner. So I got the lip liner from CVS, CoverGirl lip liner. All right. And I brought, I needed penny liners. And I don't know if this is CVS. Oh, it is a CVS brand. Organic penny liners. We only use organic products down there it's better it's healthier it's non-toxic so that's what i purchased and i purchased again with the popcorn i'm not a popcorn i mean i is the pop this one i don't know in one of my other videos i got ended up getting um i forgot the name of it but it was a sweet and Sweet, savory popcorn. I don't remember the name of it exactly, but their popcorns are made with coconut oil. And I didn't too care for that particular one. But this one, the Himalayan pink salt, this is has a nice buttery, buttery taste to it. I'm kind of getting hooked on it. And again, I'm not, you know, corn has no nutritional value. But um, I'm finding myself liking to snack on this thing. But it's organic, so I don't mind munching on it every once in a while. So this is what I got. I think this is $179. Let me get the receipt. Oh, this is not the receipt. I paid one it's 179 for this. Okay. And I also purchased, which I've always wanted was a diffuser but I wanted specifically ultra I don't know what is that song in the background what they're doing but it's annoying anyway I wanted an ultrasonic um diffuser and that's what I got yeah I went looking for the oil that I purchased to go with it and it's right in my face anyway like I said my food is getting cold who wants cold potatoes and cold eggs that's gross but anyway I, cl I clearly can't multitask Anyway, so as I was saying, I bought this. I didn't realize they sell these kind of things, but they do. They have different ones, but I want a specific ultrasonic. And this is the one that I found that was ultrasonic. And these are the oils it came with. It came with four oils. I'm not going to use these because they're not organic oils. And I don't know what I'm in here opening. I'm, I'm opening a product. And have my food directly in front of me. Let's see how well that's going to work. I paid $20 for this, which wasn't bad, but I paid less. For, let me tell you something about CVS. CVS, let me tell you, I love me some CVS because the coupons that you get from CVS, this thing was originally, 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 originally? Is that a word? Original? Anyway. $19.99. And I had a coupon that I get online and I send it to the to the CVS card, one item for 40% off. And I, it took off $8 and 60 cents, see? So I paid, look what I paid. And then I had a dollar, another dollar off, again, CVS, CVS Amazing Coupons. I ended up paying $12.40, I mean, you can't beat that. You cannot beat that with CVS. I love me some CVS. So this is the ultrasonic diffuser. I don't know how it works. I'm going to figure that out. I'm not going to figure it out now. And I'm going to let you guys know how this works out. And if it works out well, I might get one for my daughter too because she needs... This is nice to have. But what I don't like that I saw already about it is that the wire is a USB. 
and it's short. It's not even long. Like, where the hell am I supposed to plug this in at? I don't even know. Like, why is it so short? Why didn't they have a plug in or let it be longer? So I now I gotta go find something. I'll figure it out, but that's it's a USB situation. And I decided, see, organic oil, because I'm not inhaling any toxin. We already inhale toxic air, toxic everything on this earth that's very toxic so and i'm not a candle i like candles but i'm not a candle girl i know a lot of people love their candles they go to bed bath and beyond and they start no i'm not into i tried that shit and i'm not into candles i'm not into those sweet smelling no i'm not knocking you if you're into candles i'm just not that girl so, to make it really smell nice, I decided I'm going to get a diffuser with some organic oil. And I got lavender. I love lavender. So, I'm excited to see. I'm going to try this today, tonight, later on, when I get home. Remember, I'm not home. I mean, I could try it now. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I think it needs water. I don't know how this thing is used because I never bought one before. So, I don't know. Let's see what the direction says. It says remove the outer shell and upper cover to access the... Oh, you have to use water. Ah, okay. So, I'm going to use distilled water. And I'm going to add water to the reservoir, but do not exceed the max fill. Add your preferred essential oils into the reservoir. Two to three drops. It should be enough to activate the desire effect i'm excited about this i've always wanted a diffuser like i said this was not a again if you see my other vi I've, other videos i'm a spontaneous shopper it's a lot of time it's not very good if i see something i have the money i'm buying it that's just what it is there's no i don't care what it costs if i have the money i'm buying it that's just what it is i didn't go on it i didn't go into cvs for this i went to cvs again for a lip liner and I end up with a damn diffuser and a diffuser oil oh but I did need panty liners though I did need panty liners so that wasn't bad so and you know let me say something my daughter I'm an empty nester as they call it both of my children are out the house I have a son and a daughter if she didn't know now you know my daughter just went to school and I have not cooked from the time she left. It's been about a month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's been a month. I think I cooked once. I mean, I made breakfast. Breakfast is not cooking. You know what? It's like my brain switched off. My brain switched off and told myself, all of a sudden, I don't know what to cook. It's the weirdest thing. When my kids were home, my daughter was not with my son. Been left because he went to school. My daughter was here. I would know what to. I would know what to make. I mean, there are a few times when I couldn't figure out what I wanted to make, but I knew what to make. All of a sudden, there's no one in the house. I kid you not. It's like there's a switch that went off in my head. And it's like I don't know what to cook. I kid you. I have not gone to the grocery store to buy anything. The only thing I went to the grocery store to buy was eggs. And that was it. And that's, again, breakfast. But to, to sit to actually, make, I did not make a meal for myself. I find that to be really funny. And really interesting. And you know what? I don't miss cooking. I'm sure eventually I will have to make something. But I don't miss it. I don't miss it. I don't miss it. Y'all don't miss it. It's hilarious. But that's funny to me. My mom made these potatoes. I didn't make the potatoes. My mom made the potatoes. And they're actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. I went to Sephora to get a moisturizer for my face. Because if you saw my skincare video, I showed you that I was running out of... um. The Tatcha 
water cream that I use. So that's really what I went for. For I mean, not only what I, I was gonna get it online and get some a discount for first time shopping online, because normally years ago when I started using this product, I got it from QVC, and we all know with QVC you're able to pay in installments, which is which is something nice, you know. So I started buying it from QVC because that's what I learned about the product. It's from QVC actually, and I tried it. Cause you can, you have 30 days to return items when you buy it from those home shopping networks, you have 30 days to return it. So if you buy it, you use, you don't like it, you return it. And that's what I like about that, those types of things. I mean, Sephora has the same option too. You can return it if you don't like something, but, um, I learned about a product on QVC. That's where I saw the presentation from the owner. So I decided to buy it in yada 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 it's been years i've been using this product so since i was running out so fast i decided to go to um sephora and purchase it but i'm gonna purchase another one online and get a discount for first time buying it on on their website because i never purchased anything on their website so that's the this is the product the tatcha water cream see and this but this particular one supposed to be some limited edition container listen i don't care about limited edition container because after these products are done what the hell am i doing with the container if anybody have an idea what to do with these containers after i would love to because they're pretty well here's the packaging insert so This is what it looks like. This is so pretty. Look at this. I forgot what you call these flowers. What do you call these flowers again? Shoot. I'll put it on the screen. But anyway. Oh, this is a butterfly. Oh, this is a butterfly. And again, I don't remember the name of the flower. See? So this is the limited edition packaging. I think she comes out with limited edition packaging every year. Again. I don't care about limited edition packaging because again I don't know what to do with the pack I don't know what to do with this when I'm done and this one is a little bigger than the other size so as you can see it has a protective seal to know if anyone if it was tampered with and this right here is the little little spout thing if you don't want to use your fingers you could dip it in Dip it into the product, put it on your hands, and dab it on your face. But this is such a pretty container, Tatcha. This this is this water this water cream. It's just so good, so good. But like I said in my skincare video, you'll see, like I've said before, I can't use this dead winter, and that's only because my house is so damn hot. I mean, I get heat. If you're in New York, like the project heat. If you're in New York, you know what I mean by that. Project heat. And I don't live in the projects. Right? You get project heat. And that's a good thing because it can get cold and you want to have good heat. So open up a damn window. But it sucks my skin dry. So this is not moisturizing enough for me. And like I said, if you go see, look at my skincare video, you know other product I use. In dead winter in order to help my skin survive the moisture sucking heat that I get in my house oh um I'm not gonna open it go look at my skincare video and you see what it looks like because the one that I have left it's a little bit left and I'm not opening this until I finish that one so there you go go second thing I bought was a lip gloss to my daughter. This is from Lady Gaga. Not familiar with this product. I like Lady Gaga. My daughter needed a lip gloss. I decided to get her a lip gloss. And it wasn't it didn't cost that much. Again, I'm gonna link this below. So you can see, but I thought it was, she'll probably like it. I don't know, like I said, I can't do a review on it because 
I'm not going to be using it. I'll let you guys know if she likes it or not. I'm trying to open it without damaging it. Jeez, why is it? Look at that. Look what I'm doing already. Like, come on. I don't want to rip it open. But I'm having a difficult time. Okay. Yeah, look, look what I did. Look what I did. Damn. You're giving it to somebody. You don't want to shit to be all messed up. You know, it's my daughter. Look. This is what it looks. This is simple. Simple Betty. I don't know how you say this. What is the name of her brand? Something Labs. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't care. And this is the color. So I'll let you guys know when she uses it what um, it's, it's, a, it's a tint. It's a tint. And this is the, this is the color. I don't know. Oh, it's called tint? That's the color? I don't know. Maybe that's the color. It's called tint. I have no idea. But either way, like I said, I'll let you guys know. So, um, I bought one more thing. Unnecessary thing. Because I didn't go there for that. But, The packaging is pretty. I'm a sucker for packaging. I mean, it probably got to be good now too, but I'm glad I'm almost done with this food because it's cold at this point. Yeah. So I think that I want to try this this product before. Hmm. I don't remember. But you know, when you go to Sephora. Sephora is like a death trap. Same thing with Target. Same thing with BJ's and those big box store, food store chains. You go there for one thing. And then you walk out of there with things that you didn't know you needed. And then you go home and ask yourself, what the hell did I buy this shit for? Because I don't need this. Or I didn't, you know. That's how Sephora is. It's a dang, these places are dangerous. Target, Sephora, BJ's. What is this? What's another big box store? I forgot. But all these places are like that. You go there for one thing, and then you end up getting a whole bunch of shit it that you didn't need. I'm looking for tissue for my hands. What the hell is it? I don't even know. Huh? Anyway, like I was saying, I'm done with my uh, eggs and um, potato. That was really good. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, anyway, so look what I bought. Now explain to me why I needed this. I did not need this. But I bought it anyway. So let's see what it looks like. What is this thing called again? Look, I don't remember what it's called. Multi-use bomb. Why do I need a multi-use bomb? That's what Vaseline is for. Anyway, let's open it. Look at that. Look at that. This is so pretty. Yes, Gucci. Yes, Gucci. Yes, ma'am. Look at that. I don't even need to open this. All you need to do is put this on your dresser. Okay, put this on your dresser. Just leave it there. You don't ever have to use it. This is for decoration purposes. Okay, for decoration purposes. Because it's so pretty. Look at that. I could look at this for a good 20 minutes. Look. Can't you? Anyway. 
So, what does it say? There is beauty in all things. Of course there is, because God created it. And I'm guessing this is the same thing in a different language right here. Is that French? It could be. Anyway, let's see how you open this. So this is what it looks like. I don't know how you open this. Oh, okay. You open it. You got to like, look, when you get it, you figure it out, okay? Open it. Voila. Look at that. And it has a mirror. I forgot about the mirror part. I didn't see it in Sephora. Sephora sell Gucci. Yes, they do. They sell Gucci um, makeup. Yes, they do. It's a bomb. Now, one thing about me, I don't like nothing I got to put my fingers in. I really don't. I don't like nothing I got to take my finger. Like, I would never use my finger right now after touching everything else that I just bought and go like this. Do, 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 do. No, no. So most likely I'll probably use this at night or even though I already have, I use the Laneige lip mask at night and that has an applicator. So I don't even use my finger for that. So, but the only time I see me using this, I gotta make sure my hands are just, just washed and clean because I'm weird about that. I'm just not that girl. I'm just not. Look. Oh, look at my nail. It's all chopped up. Anyway, stay focused. Yeah, that's what looks a bomb. I don't know if it's a lip balm. I don't know if it's a skin balm. I have to look at Gucci.com to see exactly where I can use this thing. And then they had this other product that I almost bought too, and I'm glad I didn't, where it's like, you actually you could do the same thing in Vaseline, like I said. But it's like a, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys the photo what it is. You can go look it up yourself, and I'll probably link it too. But I almost bought it again because of the packaging, where you could use it to like highlight. It's not a highlighter, but it's like a clear gel looking product where you can highlight your cheekbone. You can put it on your lips, like because I read I looked into it. But I didn't buy it because I'm like, come on, man. Girl, you don't need this shit. It's bad enough you got this. You know? But this is pretty, though. I like it. Am I going to use it? I don't know because it wouldn't be the first or last thing I'm going to buy. I didn't use or use once. But I'm gonna, probably going to try it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to let you guys know, since I'm talking about it, what it's like. And is it worth it? I don't remember what I paid. But again, I'm going to link it. Right, see, see, see the BS already? See what I'm saying? This is the back of it. Look at that, you can see my phone in the background. That's hilarious. Anyway, like I said, this is, I open it, open it right here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful product. But again, I'll let you guys know. Put it back in the box. I'll let you guys know if you need this in your life. Because you'd be surprised what you need in your life. But this I know for sure. If you haven't tried this, get it from QVC. Get it from Sephora. Try it. If you don't like it, get a smaller one. You don't have to. Because they usually sell trial size. I mean, travel size. Get it. And you would definitely. And like I said, it feels like. When you put on your skin, it feels like water. It's so light. But it's so good. It really does moisturize. And again, I'll let you guys know um, how the diffuser turns out. If it's worth the $20. Well, less than $20. So, and again, this watch is always doing that. It's so annoying. I hate, it irritates me when it comes out. This little loop right here. I can't, so, it just annoys me. Why does it come out? Anyway. And this right here. I'm gonna link this as well. Nice. Nice product. And, um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video because it was a random video. Um, I decided to do it today. It wasn't planned. 
Um, I hope you guys are enjoying watching my videos because they're, you know, it, it's coming from a real place. It's not coming from something artificial because I'm not artificial. I'm a straight shooter. I'm a straight shooter. I tell it like it is. I don't have time for BS. There's enough bullshit people on the planet for me to be a bullshitter. So, um, if you guys have any questions, you can ask me, leave it, ask me in the comments below. Like this video, press the like button. YouTube want to see engagement. Leave a comment. Ask me almost anything. I'm not going to say anything. Almost anything. Because you don't get too nosy. I mean, come on now. We all deserve some type of privacy, right? I'm already out here. Try the products, even though... I'm not getting paid for this, but again, there's a lot of products that I've tried from other people mentioning it. So, um, and if you want me to make a specific video about whether my hair, which I highly doubt it, I don't know, my hair, my nails, the jewelry that you see me wear, I'll think about it. <laughs> promises but you could ask me you know don't be afraid to ask me any questions um it's either i'm gonna answer them or not i'm gonna let you know if i'm answering them or not that's just what it is you know again i'm a straight shooter so um yeah so thank you again for putting up with my shenanigans and i hope you will watch all my videos and also watch my shorts because i make shorts as well youtube shorts so watch my YouTube shorts. Um, you know, these videos are not easy to make. It's a lot of retake. This is a lot of elements involved in um, editing the videos. I'm still learning. So you're going to see some videos better than others. And as I learn, I'm going to become better at it. And I'm using my phone. I don't even have a camera. So... Um, Bear with me, be patient, and watch my videos in the entirety. That'll be nice. Because YouTube tells me all of that. YouTube, te YouTube, YouTube analytics is so detailed. <laughs> it's a little scary how detailed YouTube analytics. It tells you when people fast forward, it tells you when they stop. It's so funny. It's so funny. But I, you know, I do appreciate the views that I have. I really do. You know, because someone has to sit down, watch your videos and actually listen to the shit you talk about or showing. So I do appreciate that from you guys, you know, and um, it'd be nice if you share it to other people that might be interested in the stuff that I talk about. It's a lot of ideas that I have for this channel because I, you know, I'm not one dimensional. I'm not I'm, like everybody's multifaceted. No one is one dimensional, right? So and this is why when I talked about in my um, introduction video of having a luxurious life. And again, luxurious life doesn't mean these name brand things that I, that I like and I purchase. It's about just life itself and living your best authentic life and living life to your, your true self. Because it's, it's really a luxury to get up every day. Because a lot of people didn't get up today. A lot of people are not going to get up later. A lot of people are not going to get up tomorrow. So to get up and breathe fresh air that God has blessed us with, it's a luxury. And this is the point of this channel. This is why you're going to see, you're not going to see just one thing. You're going to see things that I do. And this is what, this is how I'm really living. I mean, there's other parts of my life that you know nothing about. It's a lot going on in the background. And that's with everybody. It's a lot going on in the background in my life that. I'm not willing to share. I don't think it's necessary to share right now. You can't share everything. Damn, you got to leave something to your damn self. But um, it's a lot going on in the background. A lot of times things are not what it seems. You know, but I refuse to have or let things that could, makes me, that could make me very sad make me sad and keep me sad. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. And you know, I, you shouldn't do that either. You know, because like I said, a lot of a lot of things are going on in my life that in my personal life that that could really 
just put me in a corner and make me sit down and not want to leave that corner. But you have to be resilient and not allow the negativity that's out there because it's a lot of negativity. The devil is on a rampage and, you know, he seeks a devourer. And I'm not going to let him devour me because I believe in God. I pray all the time and I talk to God all the time and, you know, and that's what keeps me. And this is what I'm trying to teach my kids is to don't allow challenges to bring you down. And at least not for, you know, you're going to have your moments where you're going to cry and be sad, but don't allow it to linger for long because that's what the devil wants. That's what the enemy wants. And I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. So um, for those of you out there that's struggling with, with whatever you're struggling with, because again, we are all struggling with something. Don't let this um, social media world makes you think that everybody life is peaches and cream. No, everybody life is not peaches and cream. I don't care how much money you have. Number one, money don't make you happy. Let's get that clear. Things don't make you happy. Happiness comes from God and within. That's where it comes from. Right? So you want to keep searching for happiness. You can't search for happiness. These things are an added bonus to my happiness. They're added bonus. I choose to be happy. It's a choice I'm making through, through the Lord. Through the Lord. Right? So for those of you that are struggling or whatever, always remember the good. Nobody just have bad things happen to them all the time. There's always some good. Like I said, you getting up today, it's a purpose to make change or to do something different. Even if it's just going for a walk, man. Sitting outside. Doing nothing. Sitting still. You know, reading a book. Drinking some tea or coffee. Just to be at one with you. You have to find some type of solace and peace. Because we're living in crazy, crazy times right now. And with everything that's going on in the world. Right? A lot of people are struggling. Really, really bad. Emotionally. And um, financially. People are struggling. So it's easy to just lay in bed all day under the covers and cry. No, get up, get up, get up. Take a shower, wash your face, and just go outside. Call somebody, even if you don't have, even if you don't call somebody, talk to yourself. Shit, I'm talking to myself right now. I mean, I'm talking to you guys, but I'm, ain't nobody else here right now. Talk to yourself. There's nothing wrong with talking to yourself. I'm talking to God. There's nothing wrong with that. Just do that. Get up. Don't allow anyone. And this is what I always tell my kids. Don't allow anyone or anything to, to steal your joy. And again, the things people do or the circumstances that you get yourself into sometimes unintentionally can cause you to have a moment of sadness. Yeah, we're human. We're human. But you have got to pick yourself up and make a choice as to, I am not going to allow anyone or anything to keep me in this place for a long extended time. Yeah, you can go to a therapist. You can do that. Those people, I mean, God... Um, created those people to do the work that they do. But at the end of the day, they're human too. Just like you and I. They bleed just like you and I. They have problems too. I mean, I'm not saying you shouldn't go to one, but if that helps, you do. You find one that suits you and go. Because sometimes people need someone to talk to. I'm not that person. Talking to people don't help me. <laughs> it really don't. Talking to people don't help me. My thing is, if you can't help me with my issue, I'm not telling you. And I'm not talking to you about it. That's just me. But if you are one of those people that 
need someone to talk to and that's going to help you, then that's what you do. That's what you do. You got to figure out what's going to work for you. And especially if you have kids and that you have young kids, little kids, they feed off of your energy. You don't, and I'm no, I know as parents, we don't want that for our kids. We want the best for our kids. Right? My tea is cold. Oh. We want the best for our kids. So even if you don't want to do it for yourself, do it for your child or your children because they need you. You know, um, if you're not okay, they're not okay. You know, as women, we have to really understand that if we're not okay, our children are not okay. Because how can we take care of them if we're not taking care of ourselves? And also women tend to put everybody in front. I'm not doing that. I'm that, I put myself first. And that's not a selfish, it's not a selfish thing. It's a take care of yourself so you can take care of someone else. If you're not okay, how the hell are you taking care of somebody else? It doesn't work. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna crash and burn. And that happens to a lot of people. They crash and burn. Don't wait for the universe to crash and burn you before because usually when the universe does that, when God when God slows you down, he slows you down. So you know what? Take a step back and Take care of yourself, however that taking care of yourself is. And I'm not talking about drinking and smoking either, but that shit don't do nothing for you. Drinking, it, it'll bring you up, but it brings you right back down. So I'm not talking about that. I drink, but I don't drink like I occasional. I have a beer. I'm not into um, hard liquor. That shit don't taste good to me. You know, I'll drink a uh, wine. I'm a Moscato, I love Moscato. But I don't see, you'll never, you'll never sit down. You'll never see, I don't think you'll ever see none of my videos. You'll see me with a glass of wine. I doubt that. I doubt. You'll see me with some damn tea or some seltzer water. But I'm not, I'm not promoting that. I'm not promoting that shit. You know? I'm not talking about anything. I don't believe in anything that artificially makes you happy i don't believe in that i don't anything that alters your personality anything that alters your thinking i don't believe in none of that stuff you know everything has to be natural if you cannot naturally be happy it's a problem and this is where like i said it's a choice i know this video went totally south but i just feel like it's something i had to address it's just like i said this right now this is the video has happened. I know I fidget. You know what I notice? I fidget a lot when I'm talking to the camera. I, like, stop touching your face so much. And this is why I don't wear makeup. I don't wear makeup. Because, look, I'm always touching. Can you imagine if I, would, if I have makeup all over my hands right now if I wore makeup? It's ridiculous. It's a different video. Again, back to what I was saying. Yeah, so... And I'm talking for both men and women. It's not just women. Because I know, according to YouTube analytics, there's a couple of men that watch my videos. See, I know it tells me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it tells me. So, you know, for both men and women, you know, take care of yourself. Again, this channel is about self-care. As they call it, self-care. That's the famous thing. Self-care, self-care, self-care. To me, I call it luxury life because it's luxurious to live life do the things that you love to do it doesn't have to be an extravagant trip a lot of us don't have the money for that let's be clear on that do things around your area in your city where you live there's a lot of things to do in a lot of places you just got to find it and figure out what is it that you like to do you know so yeah that's it for the video i don't think i ever have anything else to say if i do i'll just make another video <laughs> that's it because like i said this video is just random you know um 
And I'm kind of glad I recorded, spoke about the things that I spoke about. So I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I'll see you guys next time. So peace.